Welcome back to my channel. My name is Aga Tompkins and here's another episode of Food and Beauty. This one goes back to my roots. Uh, they're called Nareszniki's Serem. They are Polish blintzes, essentially, or like kind of like a crepe. They're pretty easy to make. They don't need a lot of ingredients. The only, I think, weird one would be the farmer's cheese, but you could also use ricotta, so if you're not familiar with farmer's cheese, there's a substitute. You can also just make them with like Nutella or something else. You could throw your own spin on them, so check them out. Let me know what you guys think, and let's get started. First, put in half a cup of flour into your bowl. Next, you'll need a half a cup of milk. And then you'll need a quarter cup of warm water. I'm using the C5 from this Norvina palette for this color. Then you crack two eggs straight into there. Get them in there. I'm using the number three for up here. You'll need a half a teaspoon of salt. Whisk all those ingredients together. And then you're gonna put it in the fridge because you want it to cool down before you make them. Throw that bowl in the fridge. Don't literally throw it. Let that chill in the fridge for one hour. Chill, baby, chill. Now I'm gonna use the E5 right in the corner there. And while that's in the fridge, I start preparing the filling. For the filling, you'll need 12 ounces of farmer's cheese, two ounces of cream cheese. Put those into like a food processor, which is what I do, or if you have like a blender, you can do that. And if not, you can mix it by hand. It's just gonna take a while. I use my Smashbox concealer, the Studio Fix, on my upper eyelid. I put it under here and do that. Obviously, I didn't put it on very evenly. Whatever. I'm actually not going anywhere today. So it doesn't have to be perfect. And then... Do that. Smudge that into the center a little bit. And then drop in your egg yolk. Right in there. Just the egg yolk. I'm gonna do this E2 color on the part I just put concealer on. And you'll need six tablespoons of sugar so it can be nice and sweet for you. Two tablespoons of butter. Make sure it's melted. And lastly, I add in some lemon zest, but you don't need to do that. I use my Stila eyeliner. Now I mix it. As you can see, I blended it pretty well, but if you want to, you can pulse it and make it a little bit chunky, which is delicious as well when the cheese has a little bit of that texture in your blintz. Nalashniki Serem. I was five when I moved to America, so there was like a lot of stuff that I ate growing up. Even while I was here, uh, I grew up in Chicago and there was like a lot of Polish stores and stuff because Chicago had such a huge Polish population. So we were able to get all the different ingredients and different Polish foods that were brought over here for the Polish stores. So I grew up eating a lot more Polish food because that's what my parents were used to. There was like a lot of American food that I never really ate. Like I didn't even try mac and cheese till high school, which we'll talk about that more some other time. I'm gonna use this Tarte Lit Chrome Paint on the corner of my eyeballs. And lit it is, girl. Look at that. 
I'd say they're on fire if I didn't know better. Now I'm using the Tarte Clay and Black Paint Liner. This makes my eyeliner super matte and I really like that. Put it right over it. I put this on after the Stila eyeliner. It's super easy. If you can't use that Stila eyeliner, I don't know what to tell you. It's literally like the easiest eyeliner to use. It just means you gotta practice, man. Like I feel like with practice, anybody can do anything, duh. If you keep trying, you'll eventually get it and you'll be a pro at least on yourself so never give up because I have a lot of people tell me that they have a hard time with eyeliner and it's like then maybe you have to do eyeliner every day make give yourself a challenge I genuinely do my makeup every day it's just something that I love it's my me time as a mom it's something that makes me feel good I get to draw every day the only drugstore thing I use actually I, I don't know why I love it for this price point and honestly because I wear eyelashes anyway I, I just only need a little bit of mascara and this is a waterproof mascara I get the blackest black voluminous million lashes if you are in a pinch and need a drugstore mascara it's fine with me put the filling in the fridge as well and let that sit now till it's time to use it I use this for my brows. I've gone through this before. You guys already know. Now once your batter has been in the fridge for an hour, you're gonna need non-stick spray. And I use a fairly small non-stick pan as well. And so you want to definitely use something that will easily allow you to flip those bad boys. Once I take out the batter from the fridge, I added two tablespoons of melted butter in that cold consistency now, so the butter is warm. And then I whisk that all together again. Spray the nonstick spray onto the pan. I use a large cookie spoon and plop it in with that for measuring. But depending on your pan size, it would be different too. So just do enough till you fill the pan and once you roll the pan around, you want it to be very, very thin. So with that non-stick spray, it should make it fairly easy to flip these guys. But if you have a hard time, it's okay if you can't just naturally flip it like that you could use like a fork or something to like help you or if you do it and it half falls then you can like adjust it on there so there's no method to the madness I think as well with that practice makes perfect and if you keep trying you'll eventually get it too Can we talk about the mascara face? A little highlight. So I put all of them on a plate and let them cool off a little bit. So I keep adding them onto a plate as I keep making them. I have a family of six, so I made seven and I ate two myself. And I don't even have a sweet tooth, so don't ask me why, but I did. I bought these big old lashes off Amazon and I figured I would do them for you guys just for this video because in real life I don't think I'm wearing these like out. Although they are beautiful, they're just real big. Who needs sunglasses when you have lashes like this? You know what I'm saying? They're real fun. You can't even see the shadow. They were super cheap, so I figured, why not? Let's have fun with these guys. 
Let's do it. You guys wanna have fun? Yeah! So then you take the cheese out of the fridge. I'm gonna use both these colors. The dark one's number one and the light one's number 13. I don't remember what they're called, but I'm sure that'll get you guys somewhere. So then you put the cheese inside. And you roll them up. I roll them all up and then I fry the outside of them again. Put a little dab of your favorite fruit or jam. In this case, I use like a raspberry jam. And voila, they are done and they're good to go. Great breakfast too. You could always do them as one of the sweet sides for breakfast instead of like pancakes. These babies were so good. I hope you try them out yourself. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment what you think about this video. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, I have a food Instagram, which is Aga Tompkins Kitchen. And then I also have a beauty Instagram, which is Aga Tompkins Beauty. Bye, guys.